Welcome friends, it's almost Yom Kippur! Wow, that incredible spiritual moment is almost upon us! <laughs> you might be thinking, hey, what's he wearing? That's not a, a lamp coat, is it? <laughs> no, that's just what they put on at the dry cleaner. Is it, a, is it a, a new chef's jacket? No, it's not a chef's jacket. This, this is my kittel. I got this when I got married. You get it when you get married. It's a very serious moment, a very serious day. You wear it on Passover at the Seder. You wear it on Yom Kippur for the services. And then you wear it at the end. It's a very serious garment. It's there to teach you that it's a serious, solemn moment and time. And you have to take it as such. So what are the big lessons of Yom Kippur that we need to think about that will help us to give us an incredible year ahead? Well, first off is that Yom Kippur is like the happiest day. You might not think of it that way. But it's a day where we affirm our love for God and God affirms his love for us. Hey, that sounds like a pretty happy theme, and that's what it's all about. But it comes through serious self-reflection and serious introspection and serious desire and dedication to get better, do better, be better. That's what it's all about. And so there are three big things to focus on. Number one, Utsishuva. You heard the song, right? If you go to the services, you hear Utsishuva, Utsidaka. What's tshuva? <laughs> tshuva is the idea is that we can always fix things. That's what we want to do. We want to get back on track. We want to move forward. We want to put the past behind us and be as great as we can be going forward. And you know what tzedakah is? It's charity. It's helping others. Not just with money. I mean, money is great. We all need money. But not just with money. It's helping people. Find ways to help other people by using your expertise, by using your ear, just listening, by helping them with whatever they need. That's what you got to do. And with prayer. Prayer, that way of connecting to God and understanding your place in the universe, prioritizing your needs over your wants, all of these things are part and parcel of the prayer experience. We've got to pray every single day so that we're prioritizing and that we understand what we have to do and that we understand the greatness of the world and our place in it. This is all comes together. Everything about Yom Kippur is how I can be the best me possible. And that's my blessing to all of you that this year, with all of the challenges that we're facing in this particular time, 2020 is becoming a, a bad word. <laughs> 2020 has been a difficult year. But going forward, it's up to us to make it better. And this Yom Kippur should make it so that it's amazing for all of us in every way. Should have blessings on Yom Kippur. Should hear the shofar one more time. And that shofar blast should awaken our souls so that we should be connected to the universe, to God, to the people around us in the best ways possible, being the best person we can be. Have a great Yom Kippur. No food, but later on we'll have some great new videos. Shana Tova, see you soon. If you like what you see here on The Rabbi Cooks, then please subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. Share it with your friends. Everybody should know what we're doing here at The Rabbi Cooks. Let's learn something together. Let's eat great food. Let's meet amazing people. Let's do it together. So please share and like and eat delicious food with amazing people while discussing incredible ideas.